Hey guys, in today's video, let me... <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my favorites for 2019. No, my favorite manicures for 2019. Certain ones, though, that are just forever favorites, like Fiji from SC, OPI, Lincoln Park After Dark, China Glaze, Bottoms Up, and Rose Among Thorns. You know, I think I mentioned them last year. Consider them forever favorites. Two Finger Salute from Butter London. My God, you know, I could have kept adding on to it because the manicures that I wore using those polishes this past year I, I loved and I think for the most part except for some mostly everything is available except for some polish polishes that I have in here may not be available but I think everything else mm, is pretty accessible either in store or not in store but like online I'm gonna get started with one that I actually don't have anymore. I finished it in Project Polish and that's Dress Me Up from China Glaze. It's such a beautiful polish. I enjoyed it till the last drop. That was almost like my neutral that I could wear all of the time and not get tired of it. I don't wear a lot of neutrals. I don't wear a lot of nudes just because I get bored. I like color, but that is one that I would never ever get sick of. I just felt like it made everything look better. If my cuticles look crappy, it just always made it look better. But this time around, I put Put on the INM holographic top coat which I did not bring out but I've mentioned it many times it is the finest holographic topper that I've, been, I've ever been able to find but you can build it up if you want to if you want a little bit more of those rainbows which I enjoy and I've mentioned before that's one of my favorite toppers ever the next manicure is using Carrie Blossom from OPI and it's not just this polish because this is a forever favorite for me but this time around I had paired it up with Green Ocean from Sinful Colors and I've mentioned another one of my favorite toppers and I like the pairing of these two the contrast of this because the little flakies in here kind of shift from green to, green to blue and even a little bit of like a blurple almost. The contrast of this over top of the, the berry tone base just accentuated the little flakies of this topper so much more. They just looked really, really beautiful. Another manicure using Green Ocean because I love this polish so much. Where did that polish go? It's from Zoya and it's Caitlin and I had it here. I have so much polish on my desk right now. It's a, oh, duh, Minsa. So, Soya Caitlin, not one that I enjoy too much by itself. It is one that I, I have enjoyed, but I don't love it completely. But this time around, I decided to put on Green Ocean over top of it. I actually did a Paint Your Nails With Me video, which I'll link up in the cards. And instead of leaving it glossy, I mattified it, and that brought out the little flakies so beautifully against this base. It almost brought out more of the green in the flakies and it just it contrasted really beautiful with this kind of dusty grayish purple base i thought it it almost brought it back to life i meant to top it over another polish that i had in a project polish from zoya but i couldn't find that one so this is the one that i opted for it's a very similar color i just can't remember the name off of the top of my head but a great combination and the fact that i mattified it i thought just looked insanely good the next four or five polishes i guess I'll, I'll throw this one in here are from polish i think just as an overall i really enjoyed these these are the only polish polishes that i own and i tried them for the first time this year and i was highly impressed by these these four here have the gold flaky that they're known for <laughs> adding that little gold metallic flakies into the polishes and i really like the little touch of the flakies they show really nicely on all of these i have grindelwald which is like the dusty kind of muted purple with the gold flakies and then i also have june i don't think this one's available i don't think this one's available either but they have a bunch of polishes with gold flakies and I'm pretty sure any that you pick up with the gold flakies you'll be completely content if you want to try them out. I loved the Bell Witch. I loved this so dang much. It was so delicate, so beautiful, such a gorgeous polish kind of in all occasion. I love pastel pinks in general and so the little gold flakies kind of elevated it to just new heights. It was just amazing. I loved this so much. I want to say that this is probably my favorite by far above any of the Oh god, I don't want to say that. I feel like it's going to set it in stuff. I'm not going to say that. It's just it's just really really beautiful. And then this one's Melody. It's the coral one that means more pink. It's a more of a pink leaning coral, I would say. And then I also really really love this one which is Dog Days. This one has a green jelly base and multi-shifting flakies in it so so beautiful this is the one that above or aside from the other ones this one is pretty thick and it was pretty thick 
from the very very beginning so uh, you know something that concerned me but it looks like a glass like glass on the nails because it dries so dang glossy and then you can see because of the transparency of the polish you can see all of the clakies kind of sandwiched in in between each layer i just thought it looked very multi-dimensional on the nails so freaking beautiful and i love it so i'm hoping to be able to thin it out for my next application because this is one that i'm willing to use every single drop out of out of this bottle. Icy Hoat is another one that I mentioned. I probably mentioned this one last year also because I love, I loved it so much. And I think last year I wore it mattified and it just became a polish that I prefer wearing matte. And so this year when I wore it, I wore it matte once again. And I just, I think it's so dang beautiful. I really enjoy, and I've mentioned before, the Neon Pop collection from Salon Perfect. Formulation are a little bit tricky on most of them, but I love the fact that they have such fun colors at such an inexpensive price. So this one for me usually takes three coats and it looked so velvety on the nails and so good almost like candy on the nails a topper let's talk about, actually let's talk about a couple toppers here that i really liked turn it up from uh orally this one has multi-sized little hexes and multi-colored little hexes running through it in a clear base mine is relatively thick there is way less base in this now than there are glitters there's a ton of glitters they jammed as much glitter as they could jam in this bottle i feel like so i've used up a lot of the base and not as much of the glitter but this is such a fun topper I wore it as a manicure with white nails and then I did the accent nail with turn it up I think I did two two coats and you could still see parts of my nails but it almost looked like a negative space and I, I thought that looked really really cool and all of the glitters just laid over nicely over each other so this one has some yellow blue gold nope yellow blue red peach and then micro white glitters as well as uh some green glitters there's like larger larger glitters running through this like i said multi-size and some purple so beautiful and so fun not only as a topper but also worn by itself because the glitters in here some of them are a little bit larger removal is torture so the way that i remove glitters a lot of my glitters uh glitter polishes off of my nails i just grab one of these tubs i bought this one at walmart and this one has 100 percent acetone in it and i just kind of dunk my nails in there and let them soak for a couple of minutes per nail or something like that sometimes i'll just do two nails at a time or something and it makes it easier for removal point me to the party is another one that i really enjoyed i just really enjoyed the toppers that i wore this year like i said i actually put that one over top of dory from zoya forgot to take this one out really great formula i mentioned this one last year in last year's favorites but this this year i wore it with point me to the party from china glaze which has neon glitters in here that are so dang beautiful so you get some kind of pastel limey green some orange it looks like some white some um magenta glitters just multicolored, multi-sized glitters very similar to point me to the party or turn sorry turn it up from orally where it has those micro white glitters as well and these are in a clear base this one i've used almost as much as i've used turn it up although i have quite a bit of base going on in here still it's still very easy to apply it's not super super thick the color of the base of this has changed so it's not one that i wear over top of a white i much prefer it wearing it over top of another color painted polish uh this one i wore at the beginning of the year and i pulled this one out because of the uniqueness of the color combination i just I had never seen anything like this prior to when I bought this. I'm sure there's there's been some done in the indie world because indies do everything pretty much. This one is squash and sleet. So this one has a squash color base and it has some foil, blue foily flakies that kind of shift to a blue in the bottle on the nails. I see the blue flakies but i don't see that shifting at all actually but i thought it still looked really really beautiful it had a really good formula i think this one will got to pay got two to three coats for me i want to say more three than than two and the contrast of the flakies and the base just went so well together not something or not a color base and and glitter glitter colors that i would have ever thought to put together so i love i love the uniqueness of this the application was a little bit tricky for me because the brush is a little bit on the thick side it's pretty fat so but the formula of this polish is really beautiful as is the actual polish the next polish and actually as a brand overall really enjoyed all of these polishes so i might as well mention them all because these are also beautiful and i'm just mention them at the same time i guess i have lilac from nine zero lacquer this 
is so beautiful. I think this came out in the spring and I bought a couple from that collection, from the spring collection. Really looking forward to Marigold, but Marigold didn't wow me quite as much. And I think it's because I couldn't, I could see the flakies on the nails, but not as much as I could see it against this particular base. So Lilac had an amazing formula. I think it took three coats to get opaque and the little flakies are multi-sized. They kind of shift from a, and it magenta, orange, or golden. It has gold, micro golden shimmers in here, like a little pearl. The color shifting flakies just looked amazing, amazing on the nails. They spread out so nicely. They sandwiched in between layer. They were very, very visible. To where I feel like the one in the ones in marigold, almost like the base was a little bit too milky for the flakies if that makes any sense, but these looked amazing against this face. They just shine, shine through so beautifully. Another one that I really liked, actually, that I bought from that collection as well is um, Raindrops, and this is a blue holographic. It's so beautiful. A couple coats for this one for full opacity, and I can see the little ref reflex on the nails constantly. And then Mango Sunrise. Ugh, so good. This neon was beautiful. I love the base of this, and I love the fact that it has not uniform matte black shards of glitter in here. They're all different shapes and sizes and it's just, it looked so dang interesting. One that I would wear for the summer and and also bring it into like the fall season because this gives me a lot of like fall Halloween kind of vibes. Two that I bought at the beginning of the year, I have Stuffed. This is the Crowley one. So it has an off-white base and multicolored glitters in here as well as some gold glitters or shimmer holographic two two to three coats i would say i would be comfortable at two coats this one because it has a lot of glitter it does dry gritty and it is a little bit tough to remove so again another one that i would use with my little tub here because it's that kind of glitter that kind of sticks to the nail terribly but it, the color of this is just so beautiful or this polish in general is just so beautiful so this year i wore it on all of my nails except for the accent finger and then i put a little mustard polish as an accent this is uh Pretty Wicked's Mustard. It's not available anymore. I've mentioned my heartbreak on that polish before. And then I also have Cat in the Christmas Tree. So this one has a green jelly and gold holographics. Love this one, as well as Plum Sugar. This one did come out this past holiday season. I actually wore this one for Christmas Day. And I mentioned on my monthly Manny's video that the formula is thicker, and it is. It is uh, quite a bit thicker. So that uh, combined with the brush made it a little bit challenging because the brush is quite a bit fat and I did switch out the brush on mine because it just was not working out. I actually put on a Nicole by OPI brush but the polish itself is really really beautiful although thick and I think for me it's because the the base of this is such a perfect jelly like um not consistency wise but color wise and transparency is just so dang it looks like jello as when it's almost settling it's just so beautiful i love it and then it has the gold holographics and the last one from nines or lacquer is b plus i wore this over top of a red jelly from p2 it's called cherry counter i checked for that one online and it's it's now labeled cherry ink counter but mine the label says cherry counter i don't know if they're the same ones or or what the deal is. Point is, is that I put this guy over top of a, a red jelly, and then this guy has a red jelly, and then silver metallic glitters. They look red because the base is jelly, and then it has red black glitters in here as well that looked insanely good on the nails. The little silver metallic glitters in here looked like they're glowing on the nails and just looked insanely good. This one I think I mentioned last year. This is Loves of Beach. I'm pretty sure that I did. So this is more of a pinky coral. Um, neon polish and it has a very fine little dusting of uh, gold pearl or kind of peachy gold it kind of leans peach it kind of leans gold little shimmer fine shimmer running through it that looks amazing I love this mattified and I love this with a glossy top coat I think it looks really beautiful very tricky formula very tricky application but every coat is worth it for me usually it takes three coats let's do a couple pink manicures that I really really loved I have VI pink passes from OPI 
dry. Three coats for full opacity. It does dry dull, so a really good glossy top that does benefit this polish, but such a beautiful pink. And this one is from LA Colors. I've had some of these for a long time. I think they're considered like their neons or something like that. I have um, several from the Color Last line that I just had never worn, but then we did a manicure for Carolina from Gotta Love Polish announcing that she was pregnant with a little girl so i brought this guy out because i'd never worn it and this is called family ties oh my god so beautiful this is just an amazing amazing color it looks super vibrant but i also paired it up with revlon's holographic pearls which is a well-loved polish of mine this holographic is so beautiful and it's one that you can get opaque on its own at three coats and then put a really good glossy top coat and it looks like diamonds on the nails this combination was really really beautiful moving on to a couple opi polishes here i have como se llama from opi wore this in a manicure where i did a Skittles Manny with Espresso Yourself from QB Shimmer. I recently mentioned it. A Pure Eye Shore Bed. I think I used Susie, the First Lady of Nails. And then I also put this guy on. I just, I love this. So I wore this guy as a pedicure, as a manicure by itself, and then combined into a nail art. I loved it each and every time. Really great formula. Couple coats for that guy. And then let's talk about this combination that I adored so much. So this is Chopsticks and Stones from OPI. This is a shimmer and it has this almost like a royal uh, royal blue little shimmer kind of leans a little bit on the pink side it's not something that's visible on the nails this is one that does benefit from a really really good top coat though I wore this one matte and it looked like red velvet on my nails. I love this rich color mattified. It just, it looked insanely good. But then I also wore it uh, with another manicure where I paired this guy up with a glossy top coat and then I put Bedtime Sunrise, which is from OPI. So this is a textured polish. It's holographic and it's pink leaning and it is very, very thick and it does, it dries very sugary, very gritty on the nails. And I think it looks really beautiful in its natural finish, but with a really good glossy top coat, it all it looks like diamonds on the nails. This was actually my New Year's Manny and I loved it. A gradient Manny that I, I loved and was inspired by a dress. I just, I thought it looked so beautiful. And I love gradient Mannies in general, even without using some kind of pattern or, or stamping over it. I just think they look really beautiful. So I used four polishes, one of them being NYC High Lime Green, which I forgot to pull out. But I also used two polishes from China Glaze. I have Mustard the Courage and Mahogany Magic. And then I also used Black Cherry from Orly. I alternated colors on my nails and then picked up a floral print. I think it's from Born Pretty Stamping Plate. I'll link it down below because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And I used a Black Maniology polish to pick up the print. And I loved how you could see the gradient and just the shifting of the colors going down the nails and and the floral design just looked really beautiful over top of that that by far is probably my favorite manicure out of the entire year because i i don't know I, I feel like it almost looks like a decal on my nails simple colors hot toffee is another one that i loved i wore it a few times by itself i mattified it i put a glossy top coat on it I loved it mattified quite a bit. I also did a little bit of nail art with this guy. So dang beautiful. Great formula. Two coats for this guy. Let's do a couple from Nevermind because I loved these so much. I have Phoenix Fire. So this one has more of a holographic base and then multi-shifting flakies. And then I have Pixie Passion. Pixie Passion also has a holographic base and it has very fine, uh, like a purple flash running through it and then it has a multi- multi-chrome flakies running through it that kind of shift quite a bit. I loved both of these, but because I'm a purple lover, I almost loved this guy even more. I mean, they're both really beautiful, so I wanted to mention both of them, but Pixie Passion, I feel like it has my heart because it's purple and it has that little flash. The flash, though, is I feel more visible in the bottle than it, it shows up on the nails, but you can see it. What I love about both of these is that they look insane, whether your indoor outdoor it doesn't really matter they both just looked amazing nirvana from bliss polish is another one that i loved so dang much so when i saw this polish i thought it was really beautiful but i didn't know how much i was really going to love it i'm not more i'm not a very 
nude kind of neutrals polish where I like color on my nails like I mentioned before right so joy gave this one to me as a gift and bliss polish is not a brand that I had ever tried before so I don't really know how readily available this is because I, I I don't know if they keep their polishes in stock for a really long time point is is that Nirvana was beautiful it has uh, more of a pinky nude like a blushy holographic no like a blush base and then it has very fine dusting of holographics running through it but they spread out on the nails really beautifully and i love that i can still see the little rainbows on the nails but it doesn't overpower the beautiful color base that this has so it had an amazing formula and it looked amazing on the nails and it wore extremely well game over from Cirque colors is another one that i loved so much this guy was also a gift to me v actually sent this guy to me along with their it's like um a minty blue one i want to say but this this one for me although that one was really beautiful I actually wore that one on my toes and it looked pretty dang amazing excuse me this one was just radiating off of the nails it looked really beautiful so this is more of a reddish kind of corally neon considering it's a neon it had an amazing formula it wasn't super streaky a lot of neons are known for having a terrible formula and for being streaky and for having to build them up this is not one of them this one I think performed very very well considering this color is is really really bright i also wore a pool party i didn't want to mention pool party because i think i've mentioned it in previous years but i really wanted to compare them side by side only because i mean you can see this is throwing off what is it pool party throwing off my camera quite a bit it's like freaking it out but i wanted to put them side by side so that you can see game over has quite a bit more red and pool party has quite a bit more orange running through it both are really beautiful but i would have to say that game over has a superior formula glitter glam from sally hansen is another favorite i topped this guy over a black polish i think it was from sally hansen as well this one stands out to me the most only because it's a bar glitter and if you really stop to look around, bar glitters are not that common. They're kind of harder to find. I know China Glaze just came out with one that has a mix of glitters, but there's red bar glitters within the polish. I think it's one of their winter collections or something like that. But I was really excited when I found this one because it's a bar glitter and bar glitters are not as as easy to come by if you really look in the indie world or in the in mainstream they're not so i was really excited so the bar glitters in this kind of shift from a purple to uh purple to blue and i thought they looked really really beautiful on the nails and they've spread out really nicely and i feel like the um the little bar glitter suspend really well within the space a little nail art combination that i did this i used a bunch of different colors i used some mints some pinks some white and I want to say some purple. I can't remember anymore, but I think that most of them were from Sally Hansen. And then I did this kind of splatter. Um, I used a splatter paint uh, stamping plate and just stamped some black over it. And I thought this one looked amazing. I'll leave the link if I can find the stamping plate down below but i really like the combination of these colors a couple of toppers from kb shimmer that i really really loved i have take it or leave it i've used this one quite a bit and these are multi-shifting flakies in a clear base so i see some blue some gold some copper quite a bit of green and then i have yes weekend this is another one that i really loved i put this one over top of an espresso brown base a very very almost black looking polish that looked really amazing so this one the the little flakies are also in a clear base and they kind of shift from a green to it looks like a magenta blue I see a little bit of gold or yellow or something like that the point is is that I really like both of these multi-chrome flaky toppers from KB Shimmer a couple polishes from Zoya that I really enjoyed I have Zoe which is a pixie dust this one is more of a peachy pink and it has some it looks like some finer gold glitters in here but then it also has some larger holographic glitters I love this because there's quite a different glitters going on in this and yet the the larger holographic glitters suspend nicely and lay over top and peek through in certain areas really beautifully a couple coats two to three coats i would say for this guy and i have astrid astrid i wore by itself and i think for me it got opaque at three coats but then i also paired it up with sailor from zoya and paired it up with opi's my vampire is buff so some nails i just did sailor by itself and then there's a couple nails that i did my vampire is buff as a base and then i dry brushed sailor over top and then i dry brushed astrid over top of that I thought that manicure looked really interesting, very, very beautiful, so really enjoyed this guy. I think that's everything, guys. This was a long one, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that I'm not forgetting anything. I'm pretty sure that I am, but I think I've mentioned more than enough polishes in this video. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.